1. It's exercise. It's not necessarily a full workout, but it can be as good for you as moderate exercise. It raises your heart rate about the same as a brisk walk or a slow bike ride. 2. Good for a woman's heart. Women who have sex a couple of times a week are less likely to get heart disease than those who have it once a month. Whether that's because healthier women enjoy it more often, or because it helps protect a woman's heart is unclear. Unfortunately for men, good sex may have the opposite effect for them. 3. Make sure your headache. Say goodbye to the old standby not tonight, dear. I have a headache. It turns out sex can help with pain, and that includes some kinds of headaches such as migraines. Not feeling frisky? Try, not tonight, honey. I have a highly contagious stomach bug. Works every time. 4. Lowers stress. People who have more sex are less anxious when they're faced with stressful tasks like public speaking or arithmetic. But according to the study, it only works when you have a partner masturbation doesn't count. 5. You may live longer. One study suggested that married women who climax more often had a slight tendency to live longer. Researchers aren't sure if the sex actually lengthens your life or it's just a side effect of a healthy lifestyle. But why take any chances? 6. Sharpens your mind. Sex has been linked to the making of new brain cells, and that's a good thing. People over 50 who had more sex were better able to recall numbers and do basic math, and the difference was pretty big. It seemed to help men more than women, but both did better than those who had less sex. 7. Makes you happy. You don't have to overdo it. Once a week is plenty. More than that, and the effect fades. But scientists only studied couples in committed relationships. So if you are trying to meet your quota by picking up strangers at your local bar, all bets are off. 8. Bonds you to your partner. The hormone oxytocin is released during sex and it sparks feelings of intimacy, affection, and closeness with your partner. That helps build a strong, stable relationship, which is good for everyone. 9. Keeps you lean. The more sex you have, the slimmer you're likely to be. Is that because more sex keeps you trim, or because lean people have more sex? Scientists don't really know, but all you need is a partner and a bathroom scale to try to find out. 10. Good for mental health. Adults in committed relationships who have more sex are less likely to be depressed or take medication for mental health issues. 11. Helps fight off the common cold. Move over. Vitamin C. College students who had sex twice a week had more cold-fighting antibodies in their saliva than those who had sex less often. 12. Helps you sleep. Orgasm triggers a surge of endorphins and oxytocin in both men and women, and that dulls pain and relaxes you. Both of those can help you sleep more easily. Though according to scientists, and many women, the effect is more pronounced in men. 13. Lowers risk of cancer. Men who have more sex may be less likely to get prostate cancer, 
and women less likely to get breast cancer. Pregnancy and contact with sperm may both be linked to the lower risk in women. the more likely you are to hit the right time of the month. But more sex may also prime women for pregnancy and improve sperm quality in men, which can speed things along. Fifteen helps your future self. People who have more sex may have better quality of life, and not just now, but in the future, too. If you have an active sex life in middle age, you're more likely to keep it up as you get older, which is linked to better health and happiness. 9 Things that happen to your body when you stop having sex If you're going through a period of sexual abstinence, then beware, your vagina is going to grow cobwebs, tumbleweeds will roll across your pelvic floor and nobody will be able to get into your intimate bits again without a crowbar and a sacrificial goat. Oh wait, except none of that is true. There are physical consequences of going a while without sex, but many of them are basically negatively focused, which means you're simply not getting the health benefits sex usually brings. Which sucks, I know, but you are not going to freeze up, grow a new hymen, be incapable of ever going near another person's sexual organs again, or drop dead unexpectedly of sexual frustration. Lifelong celibacy is a different prospect than experiencing sex and then stopping it. Yes, scientists do study celibate people. The Nun Study, which looks at the health of a 600-strong group of American nuns, has been ongoing since 1986. If you've had sex before and now you aren't, then you're understandably more prone to disappointment and depression, as a 2001 study found. But the impacts do go beyond mental annoyance and longing. Celibacy has effects on your body, but they're hardly life-threatening, and they definitely aren't going to get in the way of your next sexual adventure. Here are 9 things that happen to your body after you stop having sex. Most of them aren't great, but they also aren't going to kill you. It's all good. 1. No. You won't get tighter. Abstaining from sex does not make you tighter. That's an urban myth. The sensation of tightness in your vagina is not influenced by your number of sexual partners, and taking an enforced break doesn't re-virginize you. And your hymen doesn't grow back, no matter what you may have heard in the bathrooms in middle school. However, the tissues of the vagina may get out of the habit of relaxing in response to arousal or insertion and may then need to be coached back into it the next time you have sex. Don't worry, they'll remember. 2. Men are more likely to have erectile dysfunction. This is an interesting discovery, but possibly not one that's welcome if you're a dude having a bit of time off from intercourse. Abstinence seems to increase the likelihood of erectile dysfunction in men. The studies on this tend to focus on older men. But they're all united in the conclusion that regular sexual activity has a positive effect on a man's erections. Use it or lose it, as it were. There's also a possibility that regular ejaculations might help a man avoid prostate cancer. But, you know, you can have those on your own. 3. Your immune system becomes more vulnerable. It seems as if sexual activity actually contributes positively to your body's immune function. In women, these changes appear to be geared toward making it easier to get pregnant. The flip side, unfortunately, is that if you're not getting busy regularly, then you're not getting those benefits, and you may be more prone to illnesses and infections that your immune system would otherwise block. 4. Your libido might drop. This is actually not entirely clear. Some experts are thorough advocates for regular sexual activity as a way of stoking the fire of your libido, in the belief that a period of abstinence will lessen sexual desire over time as your body dampens hormonal response to arousal. Others disagree, though, so it may be a personal matter that depends on your own sexual experiences. 5. You may become more stressed. This is another of those cases in which the link between positives, regular sex and stress busting, becomes a negative, 
no sex in higher stress reactions. Small studies have found that people who haven't had regular sexual intercourse have higher blood pressure spikes in response to stress than people who have recently gotten laid. In particular, if you've been used to the stress-lowering pluses of sex, then its absence may not have a good impact on your general ability to cope with anxious moments. 6. Your cardiovascular health might suffer. A good sexual life is strongly linked to cardiovascular health, and entering a sex drought removes that hormonal and aerobic boost. But not a lot of work has been done on precisely what happens to the heart after a period of no sex. It may just be the case that if you take out your sexual frustration on the treadmill, then your heart will end up healthier than it was before you stopped. 7. You might take longer to get wet. It turns out that having regular sex is basically a way of tuning up your sexual organs, and that going without for a while means they're a bit slow to start up, and might need a bit of hand cranking. Okay, analogy over. Sexual health experts point out that the lubrication process of arousal, wherein your vagina and vulva become wet, benefits from regularity. And if you stop for a while, you might need a bit of extra help in the arousal department when you get back in the saddle. 8. You drastically lower your risk of UTs and STDs. At last, some good news. The STD part may not come as a surprise, but UTs, urinary tract infections, are often caused by the transfer of bacteria to the urinary tract during sex particularly from the anus. So a sex-free life will keep you secure. You can, however, get various STDs and UTs from non-sexual contact, so you are not completely out of the woods. 9. You won't be as intelligent as you could be. There's an old wives' tale that abstinence makes you more intelligent. The truth is actually the opposite. Scientists have demonstrated that sexual activity boosts neuron growth in the brain's hippocampus. Abstinence it turns out, does not make the brain grow at all, just because you've suddenly become immensely productive and completed a crossword for the first time in six weeks doesn't mean your brain's improving. Alas, it probably just means you're bored.